Happy Halloween, um, Indy here. And I promised you guys a little while ago that I would carve you a Nancy Drew pumpkin. So looks like I need to get to work. I am at my town's little local pumpkin patch. So let's go put on our pumpkin. Spooky Halloween. How cute is this little pumpkin contest that they have going on? Wait, I like his glasses. That's cute. Ooh. Okay, the real question of the day, it's not which pumpkin to get, it's which one do I vote for? Okay, the design that you guys voted for requires a lot of height, so I need a tall pumpkin. What do we think about this big boy? Very tall. However, is it too tall? Will there be too much guts? Valid questions. Okay, much like how Michelangelo could stare at a block of marble and see David, I am staring at this pumpkin and I can see, I can see the design. She's beautiful. They suckered me into a second pumpkin. Everyone loves when Indy carves the pumpkins, but Indy does not love going up the three flights to her apartment with pumpkins. Da, 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 da. Welcome to Indy's Pumpkin Carving TV show. Uh, you are getting a very rare behind the scenes look at my apartment. Uh, we have our whole setup going to carve these pumpkins. First, I changed my shirt into an old shirt that if I get pumpkin guts on it, doesn't matter. Speaking of pumpkin guts, I have a bowl right here to put those in and then a tiny bowl to put the pumpkin seeds in because we will be roasting those and eating them tonight when all the trick or treaters come. We have all the tools that you could possibly need. Definitely didn't get them from the dollar store. Definitely bought them from a super professional like pumpkin carving store. And now, without further ado, let's insert some Norma Bates psycho music, the <laughs> and carve the pumpkin. All right, if you're watching this, this is the extended version. I think I'm going to make a video where I give you a little pumpkin carving tips. And my very first tip is sometimes it's really hard to remember how the top of the pumpkin goes on. So what I do is I carve a little carrot top almost looking thing. And then that is my guide for putting the top back on. Like this, look. This is the little carrot I was talking about. Normally I go in, but I went out today. That way when I put it back on, I know exactly how to do it. I will also add, you know, I'm not an expert. I kind of made the hole a little too small, but I have small hands, so this will work. Now the hole is fine, but since it is a little small, I'm gonna start shaving away some of this to make it, sorry, some of this to widen it up. And look who is joining us on our pumpkin carving. Oh, she's a little camera shy. Okay, what I'm about to say, I'm aware is a little controversial, so I fully expect to be canceled after this. But honestly, getting like the guts out and getting the seeds is kind of one of my favorite parts of pumpkin carving. Like I know people won't carve pumpkins because they don't want to do that, but I kind of love it. Okay, we got all the guts out got our bowl full of pumpkins, and now it's time to do something that it's not necessary, but it'll help you in the long run. We're gonna take this little tool, um, kind of looks like a spoon, but it's serrated, and you scrape down the insides of the pumpkin with it. The thing that this does is it makes the walls of the pumpkin thinner, so then it's gonna be a lot easier to cut through it to do our design, and then if you ever see those people who are super duper fancy, and they kind of like do the little shaving, and so they, they get it shadows and they don't fully cut into it, if you shave it down on the inside more, shaving it down on the outside is not going to take very long because like this is at least a good two inch thick pumpkin. So we definitely need to shave it down now. And then this is when I do wish I kind of cut the hole a little bigger because it'd be, be easier to get in there, you know. And time saving tip, this is the front of the pumpkin I've decided that I'm carving. So I'm only shaving down this side. If I'm not carving this back side, there's no reason for me to shave down those walls. Okay, we've shaved down the side of the pumpkin that we're carving. We've got a big old bowl of guts, a big old bowl of seeds. It is time to do the design. Now, since you're watching the extended version, I'll show you the method to my madness. We're doing the Nancy getting eaten by a carnivorous plant in Blackmore Manor. So how I did that was I pulled up on my computer a picture of 
Nancy get me eaten by the plant, blew it up and I put my piece of paper over it and I just kind of drew on the paper. And then obviously we can't carve it all out or you won't see what it is. You have to keep certain parts attached, otherwise it'll just fall out. So I kind of went through and figured out what I wanted to carve out, what I wanted to leave and what I wanted to shave and I made notes to myself. So that is step one of figuring out how you're gonna carve the pumpkin. Now step two of carving on our pumpkin, like the design we want, we are going to cut out this piece of paper and, but don't cut along the lines because we want to be able to use the lines to help us carve. So we're gonna give it a nice big berth. We're cutting around everything. I am leaving intact the little notes that I gave to myself. Some years I'll cut those off after I've taken a picture of the notes just so that I still have them. But we're, we're just gonna leave it on for now. So you can see I cut all around it and then I'm gonna tape it onto the pumpkin for where I want the design to go. So this kind of helps with you figuring out the placement on where you actually want it to go before you've made your first cut and you can't go back then. Okay, you honestly wanna get it taped down as much as you possibly can because it's a lot easier if the picture isn't sliding around. I'll show you guys in a second. And now, Paper is obviously flat and a pumpkin is not. So it's okay if while you're doing this, if you have to rip it a little bit and then kind of fold it over in order to get it to have that curve that the pumpkin has. Double checking that everything is all punched out and now we're gonna take it off. And this is why labeling is so important because once I take this off, it's just dots. So sometimes I will definitely get confused as to what am I supposed to be cutting? What am I supposed to be shaving? What am I supposed to be leaving? But, oh my gosh, I know it's just dots, but it's already looking so good. Look at Nancy's little feetsies. All right, I'm using my reference. So it says I've got to carve out the top part of the little plant and that's what I'm doing now. And honestly, one of the first things I do once I confirm I have to carve something out, I do a big line down the middle. That way I definitely don't mess it up. And we're gonna carve, carve, carve. Okay, so Nancy's legs are also obviously very delicate in here. So how I'm gonna get all this out, cause if I just push through, it'll probably break her little legs, which this one's a little skinny already. So I'm gonna be cutting this into tiny pieces like how I did this and poking them through one at a time. All right, let's try. It's kind of like that game, don't break the ice. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's kind of hard to film it. There, we got her little legs. Turn them up a little bit. I might round this one off a little bit more. That way it doesn't look pointy. But if I'm a little nervous that this might break off because it's so skinny, but if it does, pro tip, um, what are those things called? The toothpicks? Those are your friends. You can stick it, the piece in, and then stick it back in the pumpkin. And I definitely have done that a time or two over the years. Okay, we've now carved out the two places we're carving. So next it's time to, we're gonna leave this part alone. We're gonna leave Nancy's feet alone. We're gonna shave the lip of the little plant and we're gonna shave these uh, leaves and the vines. Now, my little kit that I got does not have one of the things. It's, it looks like a knife, but it's flat normally. So instead of pointy at the end, it's flat and that's really great for shaving. We don't have that. So I think I'm gonna try and do it with this little th guy. Maybe this, we're gonna test a few things out. And basically, as you can see, it's gonna be hard because this still is thick, but I'm just gonna um, kind of keep making marks and get that skin off. Okay, this little doohickey is actually working really well to get all of this off. And here's the final product. Um, it was kind of hard to do the vines. They're not as shaded or carved out as I would like. But honestly, like, I don't know, I'm pretty proud of myself. In my head, it was gonna look a lot better. Like in my head, I was so excited. But I think for how kind of silly and crazy this one is, I'm pretty proud of it. Like a random person walking on down the street would have no idea what it is, but like you and I know, you and I know. Now it's all of your turns. Don't forget to carve your Nancy Drew pumpkin and enter the annual Nancy Drew pumpkin carving contest you have from now until November 3rd. Don't forget to hashtag NDPumpkin2022 and tag us and I cannot wait to see all of your creations. Honestly, the pumpkin carving contest is my favorite time of the year at Her Interactive. I'm so excited. Um, maybe someone out there, why don't you guys try this design? See if you can do it better.